What's happening guys, I'm TechSaurus and in this video we're going to be taking a look at the Avon which is Digital Storm's new lineup of RTX gaming laptops. This model here has a 9th gen 6 core processor, 32 gigs of RAM and the RTX 2070 non max Q. so you're getting a desktop grade 2070 in here. And before we jump into the rest of the review, I do want to give a huge thanks to NordVPN for sponsoring this video. Guys, it's 2019, it's time to take your internet more seriously. With a virtual private network, your data gets encrypted, your location stays private, which means you get to surf the web anonymously. This means all of your information is protected while you are online. Funny enough story, I've actually had my credit card information stolen while I was in Vegas using hotel Wi-Fi. And it took about $2,000 from my credit card with unauthorized transactions. So now every time I travel, I don't go online without using a VPN. Just simply turn it on and tunnel into any of the 61 plus countries available on their super fast servers. It's available for iOS and Android as well, so you can secure your mobile browsing experience. And now you guys can get 75% off a three-year plan by using the code listed on the screen. So make sure you guys visit nordvpn.com techsource and get protected today. Okay, so the laptop is built really well. The frame is made out of metal polycarbonate hybrid material with a brushed surface. And we also got a digital storm logo that's illuminated. It's a pretty good looking laptop. Very minimal flex on the display and the keyboard deck, which is great. Now, even though this has a 17 inch screen, the overall footprint is similar to a 15 inch laptop. And this was made possible mostly from the super thin bezels and the keyboard spacing. Speaking of the keyboard, you do get a full size keyboard with a 10 key and they are not only RGB lit, but they are mechanical as well. They are using a proprietary design from a manufacturer, however, they are very similar to Cherry MX Browns. Here's a quick typing sample. Now, even though the keys are crammed together, I didn't experience any issues typing. All the keys were easily within reach. And personally, I prefer this type of key layout if it means they're gonna squeeze in a 10 key. One thing that can get really annoying really quickly is cleaning the keyboard. There's barely any space between the keys, so getting in between them to clean the dust and dirt might be a challenge. Now the lighting for the keyboard and the light bar on the side can be controlled via their gaming center and you can also control fan settings and monitor the system as well which we'll get into later. I gotta say I don't like the placement of the trackpad because sometimes my left hand would activate the mouse while I'm typing and it kind of gets annoying. Luckily there is a button on the keyboard that lets me disable it even though it's very inconvenient and I shouldn't have to in the first place. But other than that, the trackpad works as it should. It is using Windows Precision drivers and it recognizes all of my gestures without any issues. The 17 inch display is really nice. It has an IPS panel with really great viewing angles and it gets really bright at 400 nits with no backlight bleed whatsoever. It's not the best for color sensitive work, but for gaming, it's amazing. You get 144 hz panel with a three millisecond response time. The RTX 2070 just makes more sense with a higher refresh rate display. The games look so much better and are more enjoyable to play on compared to a display with only 60 Hz. Speaking of gameplay, with the Avon you can game comfortably over 100 FPS on less intensive titles like Overwatch, CSGO, and even Apex Legends. However, for more demanding titles like Battlefield 5 and Black Ops 4, you will be getting in the high 60s and 70s on high settings. It's still kind of disappointing to see that even with an RTX 2070, you're not gonna be taking advantage of the 144Hz panel on the more demanding titles. Now battery life is pretty bad, which is to be expected. I was getting a little under two hours of use on the balanced power plan. Then again, with a 9th gen 6 core processor and an RTX 2070, you really shouldn't leave your charger at home. Also guys, is it me or is it really pointless measuring battery life on a gaming laptop? I don't know a single soul on this planet who games on their gaming laptop without having their charger plugged in. I just kind of find it pointless. One of the things I love about the Avon is the amount of connectivity. So you have your audio ports, Ethernet jack, and a single USB 3 on the left side. And then we got two additional USB 3s and a micro SD card reader on the opposite side. And then in the back is where you'll find two mini display ports, an HDMI, and a single USB Type-C, which is Thunderbolt 3 compatible. Can I just say one thing? I love it when laptop manufacturers put the charging port in the back of the laptop. It doesn't get in the way of the ports and it just looks way cleaner in my opinion. Now the speakers. I don't even know where to begin with the speakers. These are probably one of the worst, if not the worst sounding speakers I have heard on any laptop. Not just gaming laptops, but just laptops, period. 
They are so quiet that you can barely hear anything on max volume. So if you're outside or in a loud environment, good luck hearing anything from these, especially when the fans kick on. I mean, it is just, I'm gonna show you guys an actual example because you need to hear this. So I'm gonna put on one of my videos, okay? Um, the laptop is max volume and also the volume on the YouTube player. So check this out guys, I'm not even kidding. So today we're gonna be building a budget gaming setup from scratch. It's gonna cost around a thousand dollars and that includes the cost of the PC. This little guy kicks ass in 1080- Compare that sound to my sound. I mean, it's, it is really, really low. You can't even hear anything. I strongly recommend using earphones, headphones, or even a headset with the Avon. So it's really easy to get access to the components inside the Avon. Just remove all eight screws and pop off the back cover. There's a 62 watt hour battery down here and you can get access to both M.2 SSDs and RAM if you wish to upgrade. My NVMe based M.2 SSD is currently getting around 1400 megabytes per second read and 1600 megabytes per second write, which is blazing fast. One of the things that this laptop does great is the cooling design. We got two decently sized fans split between multiple heat pipes and four exhaust vents. We got two on the sides and two more in the back. And because of the great cooling design, the laptop does not thermal throttle. The fans do get pretty loud, but they do a good job keeping the components cool enough to a point where there is no thermal throttling during heavy workloads or gaming. I also love the fact that you can control the fan speeds through the gaming center. So if you need to lower the fan speed because you're in a library or somewhere quiet, then you can do so. There's even a dedicated button above the keyboard that lets you switch between office mode and game mode. So to sum it all up, the Avon gaming laptop has really crappy speakers. I mean, the worst speakers I've ever heard and poor battery life, which is to be expected. But honestly, everything else, it kicks ass. Great thermals and gaming performance, amazing build quality. I love the mechanical keyboard and the awesome 144 hertz screen, which gets really bright. And that does it for my review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll drop a link to the Avon gaming laptop if you guys wanna check it out. And also consider leaving a like if you wanna see more gaming laptop reviews like this and leave a comment below on what laptop I should review for my next video. I don't know why I'm doing this. Thanks again so much for watching. As always, guys, I love your faces and I will see you in the next one.